welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. Excuse all this, excuse all the Christmas bits. We are de christmas in the house, which is very sad. There's no Christmas tree behind me, but we are well and truly getting into the swing because birth night's coming up, I believe, at the end of the month on a Wednesday. But, of course, for that, we're going to have haggis, but I wanted to get a few little recipes in. So yesterday, if you haven't seen it, we done... Cranican, I think that's how you say it, which is kind of like a dessert. Well, I've already um, made that and already ate that. So we had dessert first and now we're getting into the main course. This, I feel like me, no, was it me or was it mum? One of us had this when we went to a Burns night um, evening at Lock and Fine. It used to be one down in Blue Water and they shut it. Not happy because I used to love a bit of Lock and Fine. You know me, I love my seafood, I love my fish that close so i was a bit like hmm okay but i found the recipe you know me good old standard bbc good food and this is what we are um hopefully gonna come out with it's kind of like a haddock chowder like a thick soup chowder and it says to have it with thick bread mum has gone and got a big cheesy baguette so i am very happy i'm hydrated i'm on miyoshi energy drinks um no babies in sight unfortunately not However, um, I did go a little bit overboard with the whiskey in the Kranikan, so maybe it's better if I'm on this. Shannon, should we stop rabbiting? Because there's an onion to be chopped, potatoes to be peeled, so we know that Mama G is going to be in this video, eh? <laughs> I'm gonna actually do the onion, but mum can come in and help peel the potatoes and then we've got to cut them into one centimetre cubes. So it's gotta be really, really small. But you want me to peel the spots. So they've got to be peeled first and right. then we've got to cut them into Are you cutting them? I'll cut them first. Right. They'll be tiny, tiny cubes. Right. I was saying, was it you or me that had this a lot fine? I think it was you. Me. I had yeah. the Macro or something to start, I think. I had that uh, stew thing, a soup, wasn't it? But we're doing that. Come see. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes. However, I'm really looking forward to Burns Night because I do love a bit of haggis. Yeah. But I like to have mine with a peppercorn sauce, which may be an unpopular opinion, but I just like having a little bit of a sauce with it. You know what I'm going to get? What? I'm going to get a little Scottish kilt. A kilt? Yes. See if I can hire a kilt. <laughs> What do you reckon, viewers? I don't think you could hire a kill, can you? Have you dropped the peelings already? No, that's <laughs> what do you reckon, viewers? I could uh, come in with Chen in a kilt and me bagpipes. I do love hearing bagpipes, I'm not going to lie. No, that, that, that's sort of nice lot people have now when they get married, isn't it? Or bagpipes? Yeah. Yeah. The dialect. Uh, I think whenever I move out, I'm just going to buy oh, onions already chopped. <laughs> oh, you you buy can't. a bag of chopped yeah, onions. You can now, pound. Oh. But what is the old wives tell me? It's like it's it's like, like, yeah. People have said to me to wear goggles with spoons. And there is one people said to put it on kitchen towel and what, it absorbs the what, juices so oh right i really need to because what, what is it that makes your eyes sting something in the onion this the juice no but i mean what is the juice i have no idea oh that is enough for me so butter 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 so let's get a teaspoon of butter let's just uh Tilt you from mum a little bit because now we've got to do the onion. So one tablespoon of butter. And then do you 300 ml of water. No, where was the jug that I got out? Uh, what did you do? Yeah. I did because I knew I had to measure it. Put it out of the colander. Oh, I don't know where that's from. The colander's just here. Yeah. 
And it's going to come to the boil and then we reduce for 10 to 15 minutes. It said don't let it brown, but they kind of have brown, so oopsie. And I've got the colander, and actually, I don't think we're going to need the colander. Oh. Because that's why it's very specific with the amount of water that I think is in there. What, it soaps it up? I think so. I don't know. So we'll just leave it. So it's come to the boil and then simmer. So I'm going to leave that simmer for 10 to 15 because the fish only takes about five minutes, and then literally it is. Cooking the fish with the milk, taking the fish out, keeping the milk. How much? How much milk do you have? Two hundred and fifty mil. Oh, and then putting the oh, milk in with the potato and onion. I'm not stirring it around. With the haddock. Oh. Where have you passed this on? Okay. And what's it called? Kedgeree. No, no. kedgeree is the um, rice. Oh right, right. This is Cullen skin. Oh no, you know what kedgeree is? It's the rice. Oh, with the egg. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm just gonna get a little some more our viewers. I wasn't saying I'm not having much because we had the um, whiskey in the kind of good. But yeah, so and oh the bread. Oh yeah, I'll do that. Do you want that uh just plain? Do you want to do that plain? Yeah. But uh, oh you want butter on it? Gotta have some butter. What do, do you want it in little bits then? Um, like little rings, or do you want it? How did it have it in the picture? Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. BBC Good Food. Yeah, oh, it has it like a chia batter. We ain't got a chia batter. Oh, so we we could have it Maybe in like half. Maybe you could halves and half. Yeah, half it and then half it again. But you want yeah. the cheese on, don't you? I like cheese. Yeah. Cheese, cheese, cheese. So, let's... Uh, I'll show you when the fish goes on. Let's have a time lapse watching whatever happens to the potatoes, eh? New face, same old good anxiety. Where's your irony? Just smile wide. Cause I got everything I need, but not what I wanted. Cause I just wanted you. If I could, I'd leave the city too I don't blame you And I should call you See what you've been up to I've been wondering How far did you go in seven months? I bet you're happy And don't think that much about me Here I am not known How to move on Without you
seen an overview there. It smells <laughs> bloody lovely. I don't think it's supposed to be as dark as this because we did let the onions brown. Yeah, but <laughs> not so much. Put plenty of salt and pepper in. Well, you did. Yep, well done. And it said chives or parsley. We got flat leaf parsley for the top. That is very nice. Yeah, it's better than when we went down for the meal, wasn't it? <laughs> I feel like I've seen this and they put sweet corn in it some recipes. Alright. And you know when we went down it seemed like they liquidised it when I was at it? Because it just looked like a massive thick soup with vegetables, didn't it? This didn't say to blitz it or anything, but no. that's why I think it specified the amount of water to put in. Mm -hmm. And then it like soaked down. Mum's still got the Christmas socks on. Yeah. Still got my gogs on the thing, viewers. <laughs> so did you use all the fish? Mm. There was only a few millimetres or milligrams more, weren't there? It said 250. Our pack was 280. I think maybe if you'd have blitzed this, it would have been watery, wouldn't it? You know? Or if you'd have wanted it thicker like you did when we went to the shop, maybe, would you put in to thick it up cornflour? Maybe a bit of cream? Yeah, 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 hi. But I don't think it's supposed to be like thick, thick. It's a chowder, so it's like a mixture between a soup oh, and a right. stew, I think. Oh, right. It's not like thick gravy consistency, but it's not piddly. No, it's like a mixture. It's hot. Hot as in temperature. Mm. Yeah. So I did check if there were any bones when I flaked the fish, but oh, just no. be careful. <laughs> but I suppose a restaurant chef would do it different. Because I say, it just looks like, you know, uh, you get the big soups. Yeah. It just looked like one of them, but a really thick one with vegetables in. Mm. I can't even remember what my second dish was then. I think you had some like sea bass and I had haggis, yeah. leaves and tatties. And then we had a uh, cheesecake, weren't it, or something. Mm. Then we had a glass of wine or Prosecco. But they're shut now, isn't it? Yeah, I said they closed it at Blue oh. But you know, the only veg in this is potato and onion. Yeah. The rest is all wholesome fish, isn't it? Mm. No, like stock cubes, literally water, mm. onion, potato, and mm. fish. And it's a hearty meal. In the milk. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I suppose you could change the milk slightly to semi skimmed. Right. If it was being a bit healthier. But maybe it needs the whole food thickness. Yeah, but if it, if it, they wanted that, they would have told you to put double cream like we have the sweet, isn't it? Hmm. Nice. We don't really have whole milk often, do we? No. We actually used to have had it quite a lot when I was growing up because Dada liked it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's a staple thing of George's, isn't it? And they do it like you've cooked it with the milk. Well, we used to normally have it with like mash and peas. Yeah. It was like a typical midweek dinner. We might have a bolognese or chilli, wasn't it? Pork chops with potatoes and veg. That's what I've got out for tomorrow, some pork chops. Yeah. And then we may have a, a pie or something different. And then, n not always on a Friday, we'd have a takeaway, wouldn't it? Friday or Saturday. Yeah, because it all depends whether we went to Nana Grando's, wouldn't it? Normally, opposed to a takeaway, Dada would like to go out on a Friday night mm. to the local Indian. Mm. Which, Which he enjoyed, didn't he? Yeah, like, but... We just had to watch him, didn't we? <laughs> He's never been a people person, even from when I was a child. <laughs> and do you remember walking through that thing that time? Hold me hand. People, I think, can't understand how he can be so unsociable, because we're so sociable. 
Well, it's not like we're out every weekend, but like we go out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we're pleasant to people, isn't it? But Dad, I think with Dad, he susses people out. Yeah, if, he's he's like yeah. always One weary step ahead, of people. Isn't he? Yeah. And if he thinks that sort of like when you were small, when you went through, oh, well, the end. I mean, there was nothing going to happen, but he just held your hand as if to say, if they push past me, <laughs> you stay with your mother and I will deal with it, <laughs> innit? You know, but he's so quiet, isn't he, Dad? He's getting old now. Yeah, but... I was surprised. I've had him messaging about the pub at the Cotswolds. What have I found? I'm like, I can't even book it until, like, May for June or July. I'm not looking at pubs and hotels yet. Yeah, but it's very strange, isn't it, Shane, that... He's he's coming up like mid fifties, not this year, next year. You're going into a young woman, and all of a sudden, because you've got that, it's like, well, that back. Oh, when when I, are we going to go? When are yeah, we? Yeah, I don't think he'd want to leave the house. Yeah, yeah. The only reason he probably likes it is because he's read the reviews and you get half a pint per toaster. Yeah, so that's the only thing he's happy about. And also, it gives you and Dad to have time, just you and Dad, doesn't it? No, but now he's you're going to be. He's going to be too plastered. No, he won't be like that. He said that the tasters are half a pint. He's been doing his research on TripAdvisor. Oh, is he? Oh. Well, he don't tell me any of this when I see him. And then he was messaging me half eight this morning. What's the name of the pub? I'm like... That was yesterday, Shane. Oh, yeah, yesterday. Because it's Sunday today. I'm like... Yeah. It's probably because he's excited about spending time and going away with you. No, he's excited just to see where he can have a piss up, to be perfectly honest. I think you, you, you miss, a, no, I can't really don't know what that word means. You miss something with your dad. No, yeah, no, I don't, like that. no, but I don't mean, when you were small, he was there with you. Who if I hurt a teenager? Yeah, with the we fireworks that night, remember, with the moccasins? Right, right, I was then, like oh, four years old. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I mean, when you was growing up, if, anything you wanted, you had. Never got my dog. No, but you had other things. Look at the argument we had when you were 10 years old. Hmm. Just for academic purposes. Yeah, yeah. And look how brainy you are now. Well. Well, you are. You've got, you have maybe your dad's brains, definitely, because dad's brainy. Because he's doing very well in that company. He's on, he's on the little, uh, thing with his name now, because he's been there so long. I was trying to look for it and I'm saying to Dad, well, that's all right. They've had a baby. They've had a baby. The long service of all. Where were you? And he went, put me glasses on, fans. And I just went, you know what I did? I went, oh, not that. I said, oh, what an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> and he went, yeah, yeah. But I, I was really pleased. Because he thought all them years ago he would be a gooner again, didn't he? You know? But he's worked his way up there so much. But you just said to Dad, Dad needs to have more of a salary, isn't it? Well, he looks at my salary and moans. Yeah. But then, if anyone ever needs a helping hand, yeah, I see people go. that yeah, come yeah. to. <laughs> it's not a bank of mum and dad with me. No, it's vice definitely. versa. Two spotless bowls. Mum finished hers and was like, is there any more? <laughs> I was like, no, that was all. But that was a good hearty size. Yeah, that was nice. Now, you know what I think might be nice on it, but I'm just thinking like being greedy now. Jeez. No, I was thinking oh. a nice couple of big dumplings. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking of my belly here. That is something that I would definitely cook again. Yeah. Like a nice, if you're thinking like along the lines of like a fish pile, you want a soup, but you don't want like... A tomato or a veg one. That is something I'll definitely think because it's not a lot of ingredients. No milk, no, fish, onion. Do half hour, if that. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed that. <clears throat> so that is the little kind of cooking and baking episodes for this month. As I say, you would have seen the Kranikan before. Now we've had Cullen Skin, but there will be a Burns Night vlog. So you will see us cooking our haggis the way that we do it. I think I don't know if I'm going to boil it or put it in the oven yet. We do a mixture of ours when we do it, so yeah. I'm not quite sure which option I will go for. I've got to try and get my kilt viewers and my bake pipes. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> aye, aye, aye. But yeah, uh, I want to try and get this edited and then oh, it can be up in time for you. We've just been watching a cooking uh, program on Netflix. But yeah, if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave us a comment. Have you ever had Cullen Skink? How do you think it turns out? And of course, I will leave oh, the it food no. before. I think it's Cullen Skink. Let us know if we ain't saying it right because I don't think it can be said much differently. But hey, hi, I will leave the uh, recipe down below for BBC Good Food as always. But yeah, we shall see you Thursday. <gasps> and it's the bye bye Christmas vlog. Christmas oh. is no more. See you then, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>